When we are dealing with quadrilaterals, sometimes showing that the quadrilateral is cyclic, that means the quadrilateral can be inscribed in a circle, can help facilitate solving the problem. That is because if we can show that the quadrilateral is cyclic, then we can apply what we call as the Ptolemy's theorem. Hi everyone, this is Lando Assistant. Now here is our problem for today. Find the diagonal length of an isosceles trapezoid with bases of lengths 8 and 20 units and legs of length 10 units. Express your answer in simplest radical form. So let's analyze this problem by recalling first what is the Ptolemy's theorem. The Ptolemy's theorem says that if a quadrilateral is inscribable in a circle, then the product of the lengths of its diagonals is equal to the sum of the products of the lengths of the pairs of opposite sides. What does this mean? Let's analyze this theorem in the context of this problem. So let's first draw our trapezoid. We are given here an isosceles trapezoid with base lengths of 8 and 20 units respectively. Now since we are given an isosceles trapezoid, that means the length of the legs are equal. And we are given here legs of length 10 units. Then let's draw its diagonal. Now let's recall what are the properties of an isosceles trapezoid. First, the legs of isosceles trapezoid are congruent by definition. So you can see here, the lengths of the legs are 10 units and 10 units respectively. Second, the lower base angles are congruent. So this is a lower base angle and this is also another lower base angle and these two angles are congruent. Next, the upper base angles are also congruent. So this is an upper base angle, this is an upper base angle, and these two angles are also congruent. Third, any lower base angle is supplementary to any upper base angle. This is a lower base angle here, and this is an upper base angle. The sum of these two angles must be equal to 180 degrees. Also, this lower base angle and this upper base angle here at the opposite side are also supplementary. The same thing here. This angle and this angle are also supplementary. And the last one is diagonals are congruent. We have here one diagonal and we can draw another diagonal here and these two diagonals are congruent. Now among these properties, we are particularly interested in this property that says any lower base angle is supplementary to any upper base angle. That is because of this property, we can show that these opposite angles of this isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. And that is important because when the opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary, then we can conclude that the given quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral from the converse of this statement. And by showing that this quadrilateral is cyclic, that means that this quadrilateral can be inscribed in a circle as shown in the figure at the left. And that is the necessary condition in order for us to apply what we call as the Ptolemy's theorem because the theorem says that if a quadrilateral is inscribable in a circle, meaning the quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle as shown here, then the product of the lengths of its diagonals is equal to the sum of the product of the lengths of the pair of opposite sides. And applying this in our problem, we can arrive at this computation. Let's draw the diagonals and let's call the length of the diagonals to be x and x respectively because they are equal. And so, we can now form this equation. x squared, that means the product of the diagonals x and x, we arrive at this x squared. And that is equal to the product of the lengths of opposite sides, 8 times 20, which is this one, plus these opposite sides also, 10 times 10. Then let's simplify this to arrive at x squared equals 8 times 20 equals 160 plus 10 times 10 is 100, a total of 260. And then extracting the square root of both sides, we arrive at x equals the principal square root of 260, and that gives us x equals 2 square root of 65. We just take the principal square root here because the length of the diagonal cannot be negative. And so for our final answer applying the Ptolemy's theorem, we now arrive at this value x is equal to 2 square root of 65.